Morning. Last day today, before I go back to work, I've had a, a few days off. Um, got down the allotment to about nine o'clock. Still a bit overcast, but within about half an hour, the sun came out and it's really, really lovely now. It's, it's gorgeous. Um, before it got too hot, um, I did a little bit of sewing in the greenhouse. Um, I've not filmed it. Um, it was nice just to do it quietly and enjoy it. It's quite therapeutic. You've seen everybody um, plonk shallots into modules, so uh, you know it's not rocket science. Um, but I also sewed some spring onion, some white lisbon, and a Dutch red spring onion called Blood Red. Um, I also um, sewed some kohlrabi, uh, some blue kohlrabi, and some green kohlrabi. That's the it's like a a tiny little uh, turnip. Uh, with a white flesh inside, um, very sweet, a um, little bit like a water chestnut um, in taste, and it's got long fronds like a shuttlecock or you know like a Sputnik satellite. Um, you can use the tops as well, apparently. Uh, although I've not used them, you can use them in stir fry. I've eaten the kohlrabi on 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 the plot just with a pen knife. I've taken them out when they're golf ball size, peeled them, and they're really really refreshing, really sweet. Um, we use them in stir fries as well. Um, one of the things I did do uh, with one of the trays of um, shallots and one of the trays of kohlrabi, I put some of the mycorrhizal fungi uh, in the module before I put them in. I only did one tray out of maybe four of each, um, and I've marked that tray, and then I'll see, you know, how they perform when they're in the ground. Um, I didn't realise at the time in one of the earlier videos when I mentioned the uh, mycorrhizal fungi that I bought. I didn't realise that um, it, you know it, it, it might not work on on everything that you, you put it with. And uh, Muddy Boots pointed out to me that there's, there's been some um, control testing on different plants, um, and there is a site where they, re they look at whether or not it promotes root growth and growth through the season uh, on a range of things. I think we've looked at carrots, potatoes, brassicas. Brassicas are one of the things that apparently it doesn't really help very much with. Um, they noted, noticed no um, real difference in performance, um, in terms of growth anyway, although the plants apparently, um, I think they were calabrese, they were broccoli plants. Um, the treated plants, then the ones that weren't, um, were the same size, but the one that had the fungi beneath it looked a much healthier plant and uh, seemed to be a bit more resilient to pest attack. Um, the other thing I learned when I looked online, just to do a little bit of research, which I should have done first really, um, just got a bit carried away with Nick Poldney and uh, bought it, he's a good salesman. Um, the other thing I should have done is, is do a little bit of research, because um, when I looked online, it seems that the major benefit of the mycorrhizal fungi really is that you can use it on poor soils, soils that have not really been uh, cultivated in the past, um, so you can dispense with the need for fertilisers uh, and what have you. Um, they do, if you look at the RHS uh, site, they actually warn against using it on soils that have been heavily cultivated or heavily manured in the past, so if you use manure um, heavily um, in your rotation system, um, you might not see much benefit from the, the mycorrhizal fungi uh, because basically what it does is it absorbs um, you know, the nitrogen, the phosphorus, the potassium out of the soil um, much more effectively um, than the plant would uh, if it didn't have the fungi on it. It extends the root system, it's much more effective at absorbing nutrients from the soil. Um, if you've got lots of fertiliser in there, particularly phosphorus rich fertilisers, then it, you're not going to notice a difference, presumably, because you know it's there in abundance anyway, so the plant's going to get it. Um, so I, I've decided I'm going to use the uh, fungi on the new allotment, on the, the beds that have not been treated with uh, manure. <coughs> I've also got some baths that I'm going to grow some carrots in, and they, that's just got spent compost and 
merging soil off the the new allotment at uh, new allotment so that's that's what I'm that's what I'm going to do there I'm going to use it there I'll also use it in some of my um, potato and tomato plants so I'll just prepare maybe one or two pots I'll do maybe a couple couple of plants of one variety and I'll treat one with it and, and one will be untreated and I'll just see how, how it goes. I've also got a um, a bed on the new allotment that I'm going to put some sweet corn on um, and we didn't have enough manure to manure that bed so I'll use it there. Um, so I'll, I'll just show you the, the pots that I've just uh, sown and potted up. Hi, so we're in the big greenhouse on the allotment um, and on the staging you can see Broad beans here. At last, they've started to come through in this last couple of days uh, since this really nice weather uh, came. The onion sets. Um, I've got red baron and sturron, and you can see the shoots now are coming. The sturron seem to be more advanced than the red baron. Lots of shoots on the sturron. Um, hardly any on the red baron. Um, but they've been good in uh, <clears throat> previous years and if you get e heat treated sets uh, they tend not to uh, go to seed um, and we had loads last year they were really nice um, down on the floor here it, they're okay on the floor because of the, the angle of the sun we still get lots of uh, sun at the back I've got four trays of kohlrabi and the one with the little uh, plant labelling that's the one that's got the mycorrhizal fungi Shallots here, I'm using two varieties, Yellow Moon and Red Sun, the ones that are uh, sort of commonly available at garden centres. Onion sets uh, that I've not used yet, they're going to go directly into the ground when it gets a bit warmer. Um, we'll see whether they catch up with the, uh, the onion sets that have been planted in modules. More shallots, again you can see in the back corner, plant label in there, that's got the fungi in it. Spring onions there, martial ops, and at the back of the watering can, uh, these three black uh, module trays, they've got some flowers in. So that's the greenhouse. Uh, did a little bit of repair on the floor as well, put some old uh, weed suppressant membrane down, um, kept falling over, tripping over it when it joins, so I put some duct tape on there. Just down here as well, I'll point out I put in about a month ago a grapevine, uh, red flame. It's a popular one. It's a small red seedless grape, really, really sweet. Clusters of you know hundreds of grapes. Um, dug it out about two foot deep, two foot square, and backfilled it with a 50-50 mix of well rotted manure and uh, soil. Um, as I say, it's only been in about a month. It's not really. Uh, started to shoot yet um, not going to see much activity this year but hopefully within a couple of years we'll have a nice great vine and it'll go right up the back of the greenhouse right over the top over the braces that go across the apex and uh, we'll have lots of nice grapes that's the plan anyway at the other side of the greenhouse We've got some uh, 30 litre pots of seed potatoes, got two pots of Willia or Wilja, two pots just going underneath there, that one there and that one there of Charlotte, and then two pots of Nicola at the back. And what I've done with those pots is I've put about a third of really well rotted manure. Um, and the rest is uh, cheap compost and I put some a handful of fish and fish and fish blood and bone in there as well. Um, somebody's probably going to uh, leave a comment saying you know you should have avoided the uh, manure. I've read myself uh, online um, that if you put manure you know beneath your, your seed potatoes it should really be about three years old. Um, this is only a year old so we'll, we'll see how we go see whether or not we get any scab on the potatoes the new potatoes uh, second early is all of them so uh, they're normally pretty clean uh, but we'll see see how we go 
Hi, well, I'm going to sign off now. Um, I've showed you the greenhouse. Uh, I also took some time out and I tidied the shed. Um, I filmed that as well, uh, so you can have a look at um, the contents. You know all the useful stuff that you need on an allotment, um, and I'll upload that as a separate uh, clip. Uh, but for now, uh, it's lunch time. My belly's grumbling, so I'm going to go on for some lunch. Have a great week. Catch you later.